Hi there, my name is Gracelyn. I'm a part of the worship team. This Sunday, we're gonna be singing Unstoppable God by Elevation Worship. So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what that song means to me and why it just matters so much. So the song opens by singing about the creation of the world. Heaven thundered and the world was born. Life begins and ends in the dust you formed. This is such a good opening because it's, again, it's the creation of the world. And it is so amazing to know that every time I open my eyes, everything I see was created with intentionality. That God put it on this planet for a reason, for us. And that's just so wonderful. The next part of that verse is, Faith commanded and the mountains move. Fear is losing ground to our hope in you. And I love the strength that hope has because hope can bring you out of the darkness. And so recognizing that fear is losing ground, that when we have hope, we are just growing in the Lord, in the Lord and in our faith. And that's just so wonderful. So the chorus itself goes, Unstoppable God, let your glory go on and on. Impossible things in your name, they shall be done. I love this part because we have a God who is for us, who is intentional, who knows what our life is going to be, who has a path set out for us and is with us in everything we do. And that is so amazing. It is so awe-striking because you see it and you know everything that happens has a reason and God is for us and there is nothing that can stop him because he is unstoppable. He is immovable. God is God. So the second verse talks about our chains being broken and our freedom being gained through the Lord. As you know, uh, Jesus, the Lord's son, gave his life for us so that we could have this connection to the Lord. He was the bridge between worlds. He is our free freedom. He is our savior. And recognizing that he gave his life for us, he lived amongst us and still chose to give his life for us is just it's just so good, you know? Finally, the last part of the song feels sort of like a mantra. It's nothing shall be impossible. Your kingdom reigns unstoppable. We'll shout your praise forevermore. Jesus, our God, unstoppable. And it's really just that final push, that final reminder that there is nothing that can stop the Lord because he is for us and he reigns forever. He is the beginning and the end, the Alpha and Omega. It is just so amazing seeing everything that he's done and knowing that he is unstoppable. So I ask you this Sunday when we sing this song, when we worship, to not just listen, but to experience it. So when you hear those words, know that there is a God that loves you and is for you and that everything he does is for you and just know he is there and he is our unstoppable God whose glory will go on and on. I hope you hear that song and I, do, I hope you hear more than the words. I hope you hear what God has to say to you in that, in that moment.